Hello everyone, welcome back to part 7 of our series tutorial. I'll be switching over in Discord to the PG13 stream. There we go. If you want to be in the stream as well, you have to switch over. And well, we're doing this part 7 of our long series tutorial Get Your Guy from tier 2 towards tier 4. And we got a lot of uh, changes already. We got 170 members in our Black Flag crew. So welcome everyone. Welcome to the guilds. Let's uh, say welcome to everyone. And we are starting our seventh part uh, of uh, our Fuburia stream. Um, checking everything is set up right. I am uh, in the here. You can guys hear me? Probably yes. Be sure to participate in the stream, guys, because this is uh, all about uh, getting to know each other and uh, well, learn from each other. So if you have any questions about Albion, Albion, be sure to post them out in there. Uh, we are in our new alliance as well, Exile here, you can see. And uh, I have to adjust one chat in here because I don't want to see it like this I want to have a alliance yet and then I will be able to see the alliance and also say that's good I set up my guild yet into guild and party and say maybe party well should be not in there as well it's just all about the guild then we got this party chat of course that should be party. Oh, party chat. Party, yes, it is. The whispers, it says. And we got combat loot. Where is it? I want to see the loot as well in here. So, party, we see loot. We see kill, play kill players. Where is it? Kill players. We want to see the kill players as well, as always. Alliance, kill players. Always used to do it differently. Loot, no, uh, kill players. It's active in lions. It's good. Yep. Emotes, always see the emotes. I want to see emotes. And it says, and then here, I don't want to see the says because uh, it's a kill tab. And it can be spammed with a lot of other stuff. So there we go. We got it set up again. Um, I, I don't want to go. I want to go in here. You guys see, I got my uh, tier 4 letter ready because uh, at uh, part 6 of our tutorials we were doing uh, our, get, our, our gearing up. So you see already, we got our gear. And so I am a tier 4 gear the guy, the girl, <laughs> this one. Um, so we are set up in getting our gears. Got our spy gear, our, our assassin gear on. The spy. <laughs> we finished our spears here um, with our offender, and we're now uh, finishing up our daggers. We have to start with the daggers in the assassin gear. But you see, I have already a lot of fame in here because when I was offline, we uh, needed a healer. So what I did, I also leveled up a bit of my healing already for you guys so we will speeding up this process and there we go we also have a priest but well, i will show you guys what's a priest doing during one of our fame farms it will be the tutorial and we'll show you guys it later on but first we're gonna hop back into our our, our own line the line of the hunter and i'm gonna show you guys what the dagger does in combination with the offhander uh, torch in our uh, Assessing stuff, so let's put this one back. We don't need it right now, and we'll bring our tools. Don't bring a spear because you don't need it. And let's do some gathering, some open world killing uh, while we're doing this. So we are here at Bridgewatch at the moment, uh, still here. Uh, we're going through Long March Meadow, uh, killing some. I guess over there, maybe getting a fawn. You never know. Uh, where's the door? Was tricky part. 
and getting ourselves on our stack here uh, I showed you guys uh, where to buy uh, amount but I'm already in this phase of having some extra materials like the the stack gives us a few opportunity to collect a bit more materials so we're gonna go there's a more to four uh, tools we did some tools on the other parts of the video we finished our uh, fisherman so we now tier four and we all wanna work into the tier four tools as well halfway towards the threshold 46 learning points so if you have that much as I am you see whoop, whoop. we can spend it and get some more to four uh, easily but we also want to grind out our weapons and that's why we're here uh, this torch is not lit because it's tier 3 <laughs> uh, yes it's tier 3 still so we will attack and we will make ourselves a tier 4 torch then yeah guys all these things going together like killing this uh, one with the, the knife and did I show you guys what we can do with it no, not yet. I think I'm pretty sure. This is Sunder armor. If it did already in the other part, then my bad. <laughs> We're just gonna continue. Sunder armor is a pretty good one. It uh, reduces the armor and magic resists as well. We got uh, the throwing blades with some speed buff and also a damage buff. Pretty good. Uh, I use this one. It's also an AOE because you throw three blades in a cone. You got a dash, dash the own is only movement thingy, and you would use this one in the PvP surrounding. Pretty cool. Uh, then the poison coating, you put uh, poison on your or your blade, uh, dagger, and uh, it inflicts some extra damage and also attack speed and movement speed. So all kind of things are happening with this poison coating, and uh, it's uh, nowadays on my E, so I'm gonna use it on my E. And um, yep, reduces the max the current health by every second. So it also damages me a bit. You see that? I think they, they altered it a bit. Because of all the extra buff up. That also has a downside. The more it will reduce my health. Okay, that's uh, new for me. So see what it does so well, I uh, wait for the cooldowns uh, it's, uh, over here attack him away so when I do this um, no this is the wrong one it's the E I use the E I get damage 52 even right getting a bit more it's active now and it stopped a bit. So they really ch changed this coding. As uh, I played this dagger before, and it was never like this. So it's like a toggle nowadays. Okay. We can work with that. It's all about learning curve. I learn all day. So we still have the inferno uh, thingy. We got it. So it's active now. You can see it's circling. During the active phase, it's uh, also damaging me a bit. It's not too too much though. That's pretty doable. Have to put down the music a bit, guys, because I hear myself not too much. I want it. So let's just kill this one as well. So it's completely reset uh, after you kill something. Then you got the cooldown. Oh no, it's not reset. You got a little 15 seconds cooldown to reapply it again. Okay. Go through it, uh, attack it with the Sunder attack. The Sunder one does a uh, stacking. And then we got the, the coat. You see it on my dagger. And it damages me a bit. Looks cool, right? Looks cool. 
in my opinion. And today, because of the steam lines, it happened a couple of days ago, 16, three days ago, we got uh, so many uh, guildies. And also got a buff today, uh, it gives us 25% extra fame. So for you guys, it's a good sign because we got um, more fame, uh, easier, quicker. So the tutorial will be quicker. So we will be quickly switching over to another weapon. Uh, I'm gonna head back for the city for a second, getting myself better torch, guys. Because we're slowly switching into two handers, and I want to show you guys the one hander with the off hander as well. Let me go over quickly. Welcome to the stream, guys. Um, if you're switching in later on, um, I got this uh, stream set up uh, already. Started part one. Part one towards part three is in uh, my YouTube channel. I will post the link really pretty quick, and uh, the uh, it's a one part one two three is one two three is uh, in there uh, for you guys to watch when you are starting this new character on your um, account. Then uh, I might advise you to check that one out as well. And it's like a rubby and like all kind of things. It's not set up quite as I should have. But that's something of a cleaning issue. <laughs> nice green tea here. Um, so we want to have wood. No. Is it cloth? No, you can check it out. Go into inventory, click on my torch. Wood and cloth. There we go. So wood. Only four, so I'm just bringing four. Shift click, get it back into my inventory. Four of these. Shift click, get it back into my inventory. Pretty quick. So there we go. Find with N the little map in. Just this one. I'm just gonna check if I can really quick go in there. If I can find the door. No, wrong door, wrong way. The city has its own map. And this one is in the end map. It's saying is a custom. So I might not be able to make anything here. But since I'm a crafter, I can make everything already. And I can wear this one because it's not red anymore. Crafted. Yes, uh, it's still working. 16% custom one. Ooh, nice. You see this? It's excellent. So more item power, more stats than it would be as a normal, uh, 3.1, probably, oh, 11, well, it does something extra, and it's not the stats. <laughs> hi, my mother is saying hi, hi mom. Yeah, I had some issues with my stomach, so I had to talk to two seconds, guys. Bear with me. Go and check out uh, Albion if you didn't do it already. Check out the other videos. I will post you the link so you can check that one out while I'm messing uh, My dear mother. This is my profile over here. Copy. 
and I'm pasting it into the stream chat. If you want to check it out, go there. There are multiple tutorials there, and also some from Primovato will be shared in there. So, all about Albion, Albion tutorials found in there. So we made ourselves a nice, excellent uh, torch here, and we are having our dagger up. I just want to be repairing everything because they stack a bit better as well. And what I'm going to do is just selfish this one because I'm past the part of a tier 3. And I want to have a lit torch, right? The torch that's not lit. So now we got a torch with a fire one, right? I like the details, I like the details. So we're just moving on. And let's do another shout. back out into the open. Well, thank you, Sir to Eat, for following us a couple of days ago. You checked in. Welcome to the guild, mate. I really appreciate it. I'm sitting there with my friend Doom. Oh, he's coming offline now. Uh, in the other chats, because they're just doing their own thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Poison again. And oh, yeah, you see the speed? Speeds of two of my uh, skills. Because also the, the knives do it. Boots already tier 3. I'm not going to use the LP. You see the shields were also up. Pretty good. So uh, we will use the hunter uh, gear soon. That's in the last one. We also used the mercenary at tier 3. This is the assassin jacket I'm using now. And the hunters will be soon with the bow. And probably also the nature staff. Nature staff is also healing. Healing in the hunter line and the quarter staff will be an assassin still in the assassin gear. So killing some mobs still gives me the fame. I need for my dagger. Where do you go? It's going, it's going okay. And meanwhile, just gather some more materials. This is a tier 4 area, so we should be able to find some tier 4. And I want to find some stags, because the stags gives us maybe a fawn, right? You never know. You never know. Activate the dagger thingy. Really don't know what the downside is with the dagger. Oh, there we go. Two tigers. Tier 3, always good to have. These, these are damaging a bit more. But I got this fire shield on my uh, assassin jacket. Jacket. It is my jacket. I can use the ambu the ambush one, guys. Didn't I check uh, show you guys the ambush yet? No. Meditation we did use. And we got the roll. Yeah, I, I use this gear on another character. I'm gonna use some extra DPS speed. So now I'm more set up a PV solo DPS. Oh, we got another uh, kidney. Black. Fire HD. Fire HD. Okay, slowly growing, guys. 
The boat is sailing. Pirate boats. Whoop whoop. Didn't get accepted though. Maybe it's in the ninja event. Well, I'm a ninja. Here I can. <laughs> Purple color is the debuff, though. Let's chop some more to two. Slowly getting some of my uh, materials here. And this is my alt. This is not uh, my main. My main is Fulberius. And I'm a high level warrior on it as well. But just especially for this tutorial series, I am using this guy. And I do like to build more alts. I am an alcoholic, as they call it. Let's send them up as well to the mine. Here's some active music here. And yes, I tested out this week some new stream uh, um, possibilities to stream my blog uh, into a vlog uh, and uh, talk with you guys about serious stuff so now i'm gonna use my r is in this and i'm not attacking it anymore i'm waiting it you get this uh, points on your character and now i'm attacking and i do way more damage for the first attack i do and it was the sunder the q i just back on the poison one so i showed you guys earlier in the videos it's a uh, so active, it's just like channeling this one, decoding for how many seconds does it say? Mm. For one second, it stacks up. Hmm. Not sure how this works out yet. Uh, the ambush it gives us a higher debuff, so it's a different one than the invisible thingy on the boots of the mercenary jacket does uh, more damage now and if I don't attack anything I can build up at my cover uh, uh, that one over there <laughs> uh, my um, uh, avatar I see here above it gets towards 10 stacks when I'm invisible and uh, I'm gonna show you guys again oh little pond here keep fishing I already have my fish so I can eat one get some more oh here we go Click in it. And let's see what we got. Let me see what we got. There are special desert fish as well. This is just a normal one. If I open it, the carp. It's a random, yeah, common, 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 random, common. So I'm gonna eat it because uh, it also fames me up. And then, yeah. Tier four hemp. Thinking everything because we are doing all the lines, so also the cotton. But what we're gonna do is make some gear with the cotton already, and moving over into uh, Limhurst because Limhurst is a forest area. We're doing some of the uh, leather line over there as well, and then the Thetford. That's the one I was looking for. Thetford is the one we're going to use with uh, mage gear so we're going to show you guys all the cities major cities in the blue the tier 4 areas they're safe from danger oh, darn it I'm still working on the dagger here kind of in the other part we have like double the amount already uh in the other part spirit 6 i think it was uh, we uh, used a tome an inside tome tome of insight and uh, we got some fame on the, the gear already pretty quick. So I hope to get some more tomes. Like this, every mob could drop it. And with the tome, I'm gonna speed up this process on the mar armor. So I can show you guys the image armors pretty quick as well. Though we have to start at tier 3. And then. 
and right says Two, but I don't want to fight two. So you can get on your mount if you're not attacked. And then I just run away. That was a ninja invite. <laughs> Definitely. That's okay. I like uh, people that are working on uh, helping the guild out, getting more people. Yes, guys. We are having our tea with a nice ginger in it. And some rice waffle. That was a leg. <laughs> Through the leg spike. I miss this fish. Yeah, the ping is higher at the moment, guys. The server has some new people in it, and they are definitely having uh, issues with uh, the connection in the server. FPS is still at 40, so that's pretty good. The ping is 25 milliseconds. It's okay. Ah, there we go. This low crab. This one should be one, a rare. It's step. So there are different types of crabs. And even my stream went. No, my stream I didn't get offline. My laptop went offline. There's no internet connection. Well, there is an internet connection because I'm still streaming here. But if I am. My stream falls dead, then it's not me, but it's my uh, internet. Coding it already. Dang, dang, dang. Start with E. Yeah, you can check it in my combat chats. Your poison coding hits. Your poison coding, but it doesn't say it hits me or something. It doesn't show in the combat log, I think. Hits, it hits combat coding. But coding does something. But it doesn't hurt me, it seems. Ah, I missing out on the alliance stuff. Uh, if we're looking, uh, I didn't have a timestamp. I did like a timestamp on it. Party, there is a pine timestamp in the guild as well. So Alliance also has a pine timestamp. Hey guys, I'm sh I am shielding my uh, chat a bit because if I go into PvP area, I don't want to want to get s uh, s sniped by spi spies in my stream. There are a lot of things happening in the alliance, that's uh, pretty good. An active alliance gets itself active as well, right? You have to do stuff together. This game is not really a solo game. You cannot really do much. Uh, you can do a lot, but you cannot get into further up in the end game uh, stuff, like TVG stuff like that. We are uh, working with a... Uh, not working with uh, the alliance. Okay, eat my fishies afterwards. Uh, I'm scanning this uh, stack here. Get some more leather. But what we really working on? Oh, sorry, our dagger. There we go. And there is no dungeon here in this map. 
do now? What can we do if I attack one? Attack two. So what I will do is just uh, uh, attack one. Go with the settings. Uh, it's going pretty quick enough so I can kill them both, right? If I get too low on damage uh, on on health, then I just can go in this. I'm gonna use T, meditate on it. I can really use the attack speeds from the buff again. And I can even disable it when repeatedly tapping it. So I'm learning here, learning about the poison coding. It's uh, they, they, they changed the mechanics. It was normally just a, a thingy that you put on your avatar, like on your person, character. And then it was just extra buffs and not a debuff or something. It was not toggled. toggled. We can switch it off because it also damages at us. It says, but not too much though. So it's pretty good. I don't see any when I enable it now. Yeah, there's a little bit less uh, health. Okay, it's just at the start. And it says the longer it stays, it will use more health. So I don't know how long it should stay to get more less health. I didn't really see it go down. So this is how the knife works, together with your assassin gear. And this Albion game is you can switch a lot of stuff uh, all over. Put it down. Okay, I got it here. Tattoo. Uh, you always run out of tattoos. Hello, Vanguard. No party chat, I get my uh, loot. Send, no, don't send in AOEs, you are luckily. Luckily. You won't be killed that easy. Yeah, it's still early morning here, so there's not that much people online. I stream at uh, difficult times, I know. But it's for those people that. For those people that are here, something to watch it. And of course, you can watch it later. Be sure to ask you still, you ask your questions. Maybe send me a private message. I'm open to any forms of suggestions. Ah, there's a leg spike. Punk. Good DPS, you see? Good DPS. If you want to check your DPS, go into inventory. Click the arrow. And there is a damage per second, 114. Attack speed, 1.3. Uh, cooldown modifier, you get minus 3% cooldown. There's another Hellgate, Swant. Three of these are a pain. I'm not gonna do that, I am gonna kill it. This guy over here. Hey, hello. Welcome to Dwayne's. Saw me rolling there, guys. This roll is uh, making me invulnerable. And uh, it's very good for rolling through an AoE. 
I think I'm gonna map over. Just to have some sightseeing. Uh, there is two. Maybe it's the one that's pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> And that one missed, that's pretty cool. But, uh, you see the health of these beasts. They're almost like uh, the, the speed you get when you have getting gear on. You get a poison on uh, on it. And eventually it kills your beasts on the skinning gear. Uh, pretty quick. And if you use this uh, dagger with it, you have multiple poisons. And they just melt. They just melt. So gathering a bit. And in 40 minutes probably this maintenance will be happening. And to speed up this process guys of the tutorial. I will be using all of my LP on the digger. guys got a drift of how the, the weapon works and afterwards also uh, um, after this tutorial has been uh, shown on Twitch it will be in YouTube and uh, I will put some tags in it some information what kind of weapons we training in what video so you can check them out separately I, I attacked that guy and it runs over to me like I want to kill you don't you disturb me on my feeding well I'm here to kill you then you cannot take it take my blades there you go oh, missed that one learning point reached oh. it is done guys I can use my daggers now so uh, I would advise to keep on killing to why you get this threshold of how much LP you use down I would say go to 2 like kill more, uh, do a fame farm with the weapon you want to use get those weapons down or the using LP down to uh, the 2 amount or something if you don't have that much of LP as me well since we had some extra LP couple of and like the last update um, I am already crafting a lot on this character and I use all the LP for the crafting process that is not shown in this tutorial by the way um, I'll, uh, I'll just spend it now because I have it but normally don't, uh, don't do that that's my advice and it's up to you what you want to do ah let's eat my fish it's just lying there already for a couple of seconds. I had to eat it. To be able to use it. You got some uh, health re regeneration. Hmm, this one is dead. So it's slowly moving back. And we uh, will be uh, using another one hander. Yep. If you are. Uh, somebody who knows what I'm thinking then you will be know that I'll be using the nature staff now together with the, the torch because it's also a one-hander and I wanna yeah, end all the one-handers with the torch so we're gonna make ourselves a one-hander but slowly gather a bit kill a bit And back to the start of the city. We have tier 4 gear on. But these mobs are tier 4 are doing okay. If I check this one the bow is only using wood. We will do that in Limhurst, the other city. 
these uh, nature staffs do need uh, the glass so we'll just make one here in uh, Bridgewood uh, yeah Bridgewood we got a dagger dagger has steel and glass so if you want to be a dagger guy then definitely go uh, to the desert area because it's very good and we got steel and leather and since the steel is not there in the uh, limbers I will make the quarter staff in here first and then bring it over because I have the silver to travel pretty easy so that's the plan and the only thing is that if uh, I remember what the plan was then we can do it like this <laughs> if I forget it I'm just uh, I'm human then Word. Ah, dead animals. I always like to skin. Alive, I kill alive ones, of course. Because they will kill me. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, more dead animals. Let's just go away over here. Get you guys over here. Tell me that. What's up? There we go. Skinning the territories. Mateys over there in the other channel. <laughs> yeah, it's switch over, guys. I had to switch over. And there we go. The message: thirty minutes cooldown. Uh, server down. Another dead animal. Seems such a waste if you don't take it. Something that's already killed gives you fame. Oh, yeah, guys, I also had uh, the expert reaver. It's done. Now I can kill tier 5. It increases damage still them, to them and also increases my defense against them. So we could go into a yellow area. But, uh, not yet, not yet though. Hello, Foxy. Foxy. I'm looking for some more tier 4 metal and when I'm here I'm running it towards the road, right? And tier 4 is not commonly at the road. They are in the tier 4 area, mostly inside the territory. The area. Uh, so if I go here, hey hello. Thank you for killing those. And tier 2. Killed, but there's a cooldown. Ah, tier four. I need some tier four to make my all my weapons here. So now you can see that the leather uh, is uh, line is very good at uh, bridge watch. If you want to be a uh, that uh, that assassin, that dangerous guy girl, go and gather it here of tier 4 here so when I just go into my map a little bit more into for example a west corner then uh, you find more of the material and I don't have to watch to my uh, inventory backspace because I got an ox with me this uh, stack is quite quick so easy for rolling through the area I don't know if you guys know what this is. This is a dadel. I think got enough to four now. But this is such a nice spot. Three nodes, 
two, three. You, I would say that I am more of a, a gatherer than a like to get like a pirate that gets all the loot out of the country. Not a not a pirate that is being like ar ar killing you. But yeah, we have to work together, guys. So if you are that uh, guy that want to kill uh, stuff, and even if you are uh, like officer material, be sure to join Black Flag. We can use the more, but we first have to know you. We got all we we all have uh, trusted people that eventually stab themselves in the back. Hey, this and Fubar. How can I found out? Haven't changed your alliance tag. What is it? Ah, in game we have somewhere an alliance tag. It has to be changed. Hmm. description where it is the guild description it's over here and it is pretty awesome but people are looking out of out for us but where is the description now here look for members see some something hmm. that's a good question Where did we change that? I don't see the tab anymore. And I am somebody that should be able to change it. Am I? Good question. I am in here. Is it in here? Where can we change this nowadays? That's the question. I thought it was in the guild thingy. Hmm. I don't know where to change it. Uh, where do I change that? It's not in guild panel. Anymore, or it's not in the it's, it's right in it. And I'm just sending my mates here a message about this this tag in our description, kill description, because they are probably right people that are looking. And giving us feedback, and there is always good feedback. Thank you for checking it out. I always will. Thank you for checking it out. Let's see how good So there we go. Um, we got. Uh, we are going to get ourselves. Hello. Um, what was it? Nature staff? Are we doing the nature staff?
put everything in here really quick. Shift, shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. I even got a, this one, put this one here. And there we go. So all these things are right here. I got some crabs over there. Um, and uh, black fire HD. Is that line? If you can tell it with um, a sec, then I will do the invites. Thank you very much. Oop, oop. We're working together with a sissy bag. A sissy bag. <laughs> sissy bag. I don't think he's a sissy. <laughs> I don't think so. And if he would, I don't mind. You can be a sissy. I just saw that one. Uh, I don't. Um, everything good. Skip. We all have a sip. This would be awesome. That would be awesome. Uh, so let me see. We got. We need some more metal. So I'm just gonna do it differently, guys. Just get my ox up. I'll just ask. things in so everything's back I, I i will skip the letter for now just going for uh, the cotton and the armor uh no metal we don't need those as well we got some woods already and i'm gonna bring some wood as well the three wood the three leather okay the four leather because we still have 40% on the ox, so that's uh, good enough. Let's find ourselves a refinery. I'm just going for the 16%. I think that's about the amount they uh, have here. Okay. So let's see. We need. Word again. Uh, so we need uh, one handed. This one we have already. Let's learn it. Bang! There we go. And I will, in the end of the tutorials, go into the different weapons in the tier 4 line. This one is a two hander, quarter staffs, and the bow as well. So the only one with the one hander is the nature staff, or the three lay staffs, two, uh, 16 wood, 8 cotton. So 3. 16 wood, we got it. We got it. So make a native staff. And since we want to speed up the process, um, no, no. We don't want to do anything else than this. I believe. Um, and what to do? Steel. I would go for a more efficient way, like checking out every n different thingy, like level 15 there, to smelt. And this sissy bag is uh, killing players, doing a great job. He is pretty new, but still doing a great job. He's this uh, fighter, right? It's the fighter. Working on uh, part 7 of this series, a uh, long series, yes it is a long series, uh, take your time, watch it while you play or something, 
uh, maintenance will be up soon uh, you can use that time to check out the videos if you want 50% of my materials going to the steel because we need a bit more steel later on so that's it and then we go and get ourselves some cotton refined it's over there 23 percent well that guy has a lucky day i'm not gonna go very far further uh, i'm gonna go the right way yes going the right way always check to where your bearings are and there we go this is still free so tier two is always free Four. And there we go, and we have ourselves a nature staff. So if we equip the nature staff, it pops up all the options to set it up to get your skills up. Forty days in this guild. Not very good, no. Uh, rejuvenation is a Q. It's a Q. It gives you a heal and stacks up three times. It's pretty good. So this is a leather line, but then the healing part. Then this is the DPS one. Uh, it's poison thorns. It's pretty potent. It uh, puts a, a poison on the enemy for 21 uh, damage per second for 10 seconds, and it stacks up three times. So it does like 60 for 10 seconds. Uh, Besides, you're you also doing your auto DPS, so it's uh, pretty good. This one is revitalized; it's instant. If I'm no, it's a casting of, of one second. It is giving you a guy uh, a heal and also uh, a heal of time. Hot. This circle of life is pretty good. If you have three charges with the Q, then uh, it gives you a lot of uh, potent hit points rege regeneration on uh, an ally and all the allies that are in the range. So if I Demonstrated its Q, like this range, you in the green area, everyone is in it, gets a heal. I'll show you guys later on as well. And this one is the, the only passive we have. It's a, a heal, gets stronger when you have this four times spell uh, active. So my heal's getting activer, more ac active, activer, okay? That was not English, proper English. Then we have this one unlocked, uh, locked yet. It's the cleanse heal. It uh, cleanses every uh, movement of the imperation, so it's pretty good for um, PvP and Zerg versus Zerg, because it's also an AOE uh, to close range them. This one is getting giving you some energy back, as we all seen it. I'm going for the DPS because I have to kill stuff with it to get it famed up, right? was an ally, but not in the guilds. You cannot be killed by alliance skirmages. It's not possible. Ah, gotcha. So, putting everything back, not in an uh, orderly fashion. In one of my first videos, I showed you how I like to organize stuff, but after a while, you get sloppy. <laughs> uh, any patience? No, I am pretty patient. Okay, I report, repair everything. Black guard, I got you. And medicinal. I 
hang ourselves on a stag because we don't need to I'm just gluing these things up system um, really thinking really what's next well we have to fame up this one as I showed you guys we are finishing our letter line here and this is a one by one hander together with the attack speeds so it's not a casting thing because they are mostly uh, slow low uh, casting don't really need a, a book to enhance my casting. So we got our steel ready uh, for the next part. It's the quarter staff. The T is now getting low on temperature. That's not really nice. Alright, it happens to three one, I don't want to go there, so I'll just keep going here. Maybe it'll take this long. Just kill. Now I'm just using auto auto attacks mainly. When I cool down is done, let's heal myself a bit. And if he is casting, there we go. Now I'm using W and this one is an AoE, so the other guy is also getting attacked. I knew that. Another cast. But then second one. And the third one, don't stand in here. Maybe get myself a heal. Rolling away, get myself another heal. And it's really getting used to the attacks. I know, I know. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, of a, especially with this AOE guy, it's pretty potent attacks. There we go. That's two guys, pretty easy. Still healing up. And I might want to. Wait till I have this three stacks up on my heel. So again, auto attacks. W. But this one is not casting, so I then just can keep standing here, putting those three dots on him. Then putting one heal on me. Auto attacks. And keep the attacks, like the, the, the stacks on it. Keep them up. And then stuff also goes. Uh, so this is uh, nature stuff is very good for here for um, gatherers as well, guys. If you get yourself some heals up, you're pretty tanky, and you know what you're doing. And this little thingy here. You guys wanna see myself? I wanna see myself in a dungeon. But where are those dungeons over here? Tier four solo dungeon. Is there a tier 4 solo dungeon? No. There are no tier 4 solo dungeons anymore. They were uh, in a previous update. Uh, I have to click on it. Before. Yeah, there we go. So, no. So, so you have to just kill, keep killing uh, outside mobs. What is. Okay. We still have 8 minutes in, so I'm just keep fighting here closely at the uh, area. So, this one will also be a challenge. Doesn't do any other attacks, right? I'm just gonna shoot him when he's doing his stuff. Just, just keep my heels up and then again fight him and shoot him when he's doing his auto attack. I'm just gonna roll away using my third to second one. Then healing again. I'm just gonna do this. So I'm gonna put my heels up. We can sit 30 heels, so 46 heels. Auto attacks up and another dot auto attack. This combination is how we do it. That's why you want to be uh, Q W E R fingers using the space bar for the auto attack as well. So let's do this one again. And roll away. Heal yourself, W. Heal yourself. If you stand close to it, you can really easily move over to the other side. Auto attack. And this is uh, slowly going to the end of this stream at this time. I will probably.
come back with you guys on um, today on the second part of this part seven we call that part eight uh, so this is the one as a, a small one okay let's see now is anything else other than recruiting pretty good okay let's have some questions talking here i can thank you we got a help channel even it's all in there in game you can see what's it like shoot this one i got five minutes till maintenance and i'm just gonna go as much as possible give you some some uh, guys some time to watch my other parts of the videos if you want to do uh, more of a tanky guy then uh, go and watch my other ones about the armors the plate armors meditation pretty good got a specialist on the leather i am a specialist i can make all uh, all that letters by the way tier five and chest and boots to six even so this character is my character crafting crafting can i get the rewards i'm not sure right Genius attacks, then I'm gonna switch over. There we go. W and a heal. Paste again. W and a heal. Space bar. W and heal. And switch over. And major heal. W and attack. This is how you do it, guys. This is how this was a clean one. And there's that thingy there. And we didn't get any fawns yet. Didn't get any domes yet. But hey, it's still early day. So uh, thank you for watching uh, the stream, guys. I know it's a slow time at this moment. Everybody's or waking up or going to bed. So um, thank you for being here. If you are, uh, we're gonna just uh, put everything into our city here yes you saw it it was a scarecrow as a with a pumpkin face <laughs> hello